All right, Kevin, when you got the call that you had uh, Gold Glove number three, your reaction? On top of the world. I, I really was. It's, um, you know, this one means a lot to me. They, my, my two previous ones did as well, obviously, but after not being able to even be a nominee for the last two years, it, uh, it really ate at me because I always say I want to put these discussions to sleep on who the best defensive center fielder is in baseball. And um, I'm always realistic with what's coming out of, my, out of my mouth when I talk about this. And I just, I still to this day, just do not see anyone who can do what I do out there in all of baseball. And that just comes from how confident I am. And like I said, I'm also being realistic with, uh, with my opinion on this. Um, I just still haven't had anyone prove me otherwise. And, you know, in, in baseball, you're always trying to do as much as you can to accomplish team goals and whatnot. But anytime you can get personal recognition, um, you know, at the highest stage, it, it's such an honor. So for me to bring in my third gold glove, uh, you know, it made me the happiest man on the planet when I heard the news and it was such a relief and it was just like, look, I'm glad. Um, I, I feel like they picked the right guy and this is something that is so important, um, just near to my heart, uh, you know, this award. So I want to be in the running for years and these awards just make me even hungrier and I want to, you know, prove what I'm saying to you guys right now. I want to go display what I do out there in center field and um, I know there's much more to baseball and just defense that I'm trying to improve on but uh, when it comes to defense that's my bread and butter and it'll probably be like that forever and, and I love going out there and making plays. Do you remember when in your career you began thinking like that that how important this was to you and your career? Um, I think actually 2011 my low A season I still think that might be my best defensive season I ever had and uh, you know had a down year offensively then but at the same time you know, the compliments I received through uh, coaching staff through our organization and, you know, being named the Defensive Player of the Year, stuff like that was crazy for me because I was never a prospect or anything like that. So it was really cool to get recognition and, you know, be, you know, one of the best in, you know, the Midwest League at the time. But, and I just kept sticking with it throughout my minor league career. And, uh, you know, even like my rookie year, 2014, I was a nominee for right field gold glove, and I didn't have a whole lot of games out there. But still to be a nominee, that was the one that surprised me the most because it was just the first time I ever had any sort of um, recognition in the big leagues for what I can do out there. And, and like I said, to be a nominee for the gold glove yeah. as a rookie, that was insane. Um, and then, like I said, that just that made me hungry, motivated, and I wanted to win one, and I was fortunate enough to win the gold and platinum next year, but there's been a couple different times where it's kind of clicked, and you know, now with, with how the game's evolved, with how good the pitchers are and whatnot, defense is so much more valued than what it was five, ten years ago, because anytime you can take away runs off, uh, you know, that's just as more important mm -hmm. as scoring runs. So. Um, you know, that, that's what I can talk. I can talk defense all day, all night. I could, you know, this is a lot of fun for me. And uh, like I said, I just want to make plays for my team, my pitchers, and that's always a goal of mine. I, I tell the pitchers, I don't know who your favorite center fielder is, but I'm going to do my best to influence me to be your favorite center fielder. And that's the greatest compliment I could ever receive. Speaking of center fielders this year, does it also mean a little bit too, because the other nominees are Bradley, who's great? Yeah. And Trout, maybe the best overall in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's an honor to always be in the same sentence as those guys and the other guys that I've been in competition with over the years. And you know, to get that final nod over some of these guys, it's uh, you know, sometimes you have to pinch yourself because what what we do out here on the field, um, it's so surreal at times. And I always, you know, think about my story, a 31st round pick back in 2010 was never a prospect but it's the beautiful thing about hard work and dedication and you know you you have a certain mindset you can accomplish whatever you go strive for and for me um, you know these gold gloves are just a you know a small portion of that but like I said I'm happy with them but I'm not content or satisfied by any means I want to sit here and like I said I want to put the discussions to sleep and I think the people who uh, 
you know, think otherwise. I just don't think they've watched enough of our games, and I think that might come from a small market or, you know, like I said, maybe they're just not tuned into a whole lot of our mm -hmm. games. But I was happy, the, um, you know, the play we – the relay that I made to Willie Adamas in the playoffs, you know, that got a ton of recognition. I'm like, that probably uh, – you know, that was just a, a, a good play, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm capable of doing stuff like that all the time. And, uh, you know, like I said, recognition, I know I've said that word a ton, but – it's uh, it's so true. I, I love getting praise for it, and, and I love putting my talents on display. As a 31st rounder <laughs> several years ago, do you remember back then, and was there a chip on your shoulder then? Because as a 31st rounder, not everybody knew who you were. Yeah, 100%. I was, uh, I was about as upset as you could be from getting drafted to a Major League Baseball team, and I was a 941st pick. I'll never forget that, and I was very upset at the moment but thankful at the same time for an opportunity to play if I chose to do so and uh, you know I wanted a bigger signing bonus because it was something it's like look you have to live off this until you get if you get to the big leagues and mm -hmm. I had the mindset right away where I'm like look I'll make the small signing bonus last me and I'm going to make it to the big leagues I I'm not going to accept no for an answer and uh I just felt like I outworked everyone. And I'll always have that chip on my shoulder. But to this day, I'm so glad I wasn't a first rounder, fifth rounder, 10th rounder, because it feels great when people ask me what round I was taking in back, back in the draft year, uh, you know, 2010. And I, I'm proud to say I was the 31st rounder, 941st pick. And I want to make all the other teams in baseball know that uh, they messed up with not taking my name. But at the same time, I believe everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. and. I couldn't ask to be uh, part of a better organization, uh, a team like the Rays. You know, not everyone knows about us, um, low key, under the radar type of team. And I felt like I was the same way as a player. But uh, you know, what we've done the last two years and what I've done, you know, parts of my career, um, you know, people start talking about you and know who you are, and mm -hmm. that's a that's a great feeling. Two questions: Your best plays of 2019. Uh, I, I think um, I made a catch in left center field off Rowdy Telez versus the Blue Jays. Blue Jays, yeah. Um, you know, right, o right over there and crashed up against the wall, caught it at its yeah. highest point. The play sped up on me, um, and I was happy to see it go in the glove. And I think my, my other best play was uh, robbing a home run in San Diego, uh, Francisco Mejia. And that was one play I think it was probably the most, one of the more difficult plays of my career where – you know, I surprised myself by catching it, and man, I hit my head on the wall really hard. It won't show it when when you look at it again on the video, but that rang my bell, and for me to come down with it, um, you know, I kind of shocked myself. But degree of difficulty, those two have to take the cake. The last thing, just some impressions about the team year, the Rays in 2019. What do you take away from this season? Incredible. I mean, everything, so much to be proud of, and obviously, you know, we would have Love to be done playing this this past week, you know, watching the Nationals win it all, which uh, they deserve to. But um, what we accomplished as a team, as a unit, was nothing short of amazing. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, the odds that were against us and how we never let that affect us. And, um, you know, taking the field from even spring training all the way to game five in the ALDS, it was an absolute joy to be a part of. and. I think I'm speaking for a lot of guys on our team saying that we've never had more fun playing baseball, uh, you know, with the success we've had on the field, but the way we meshed together as a group off the field and in the clubhouse was you just, uh, you can't make that stuff up. It was just, it was unbelievable. I I'm speechless talking about the guys and I wish we could field the exact same team again next year and that's not realistic or uh in this business, but if we have the same group of uh, core guys coming back and you know make some additions here or there to help the team, then we'll uh, be happy about that, obviously. But um, showing up to the field was a joy, literally each and every day throughout the whole season, and um, that's not always the case. Even though um, you know everyone from the outside in might think it's like that, the glitz and the glamour to the bright lights in the big leagues, it doesn't always work like that. But for this year, it was about as perfect as it can get, even though we were eliminated a little bit earlier than 
uh, what we wanted to, and we wanted to host that trophy up, but our guys are hungry, we're motivated, and I can't wait for spring training already. I, I, I can't wait.